Today we are talking about visual acuity and this is known as the Snellen chart. So I'm going to talk to you about how to set it up, what do all these numbers mean, when should I see an eye doctor, right after this. Welcome back, my name is Tammy and this is Nurse Minder and on this channel we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. Now to establish a place to put your Snellen chart, you need to have 20 feet. And so that wall over there, we've had to come down into my basement here to set this up. I'm going to be putting up the Snellen chart and demonstrating how to use it next. Now you want to pick a well lit area. The height of the Snellen chart is 64 inches to the 2020 line and you want to measure 20 feet back for your patient to stand. Now, as your patient is standing at the 20 foot line, you're going to be pointing at different areas on that map and asking them to read the line that you point to. But we're going to do it one eye at a time. And so you'll want them to cover up their eye with either the palm of their hand or a piece of paper so that there's no cheating. Because if they use their fingers, they can see through and then that might skew your results. Now you can do a without glasses and with glasses. We definitely want to note that in your annotation if you're doing both. But typically we'll just leave the glasses on to see what their visual acuity is. So, so let's begin our test. Can you please read line one? E, F, P, three, T, O, Z, four, L, P, E, D, five, P, C, E, F, E, D, six. And I can't read that last line at all. Now when it comes to determining the actual value that we're going to assign for that patient's visual acuity, there is something you need to be aware of and that is the patient can make two errors on a line and still get credit for that line. If they make more than two errors or they're unable to read the next line, then that is where we would stop. So in the case of this assessment, able to read line five with one error and then unable to attempt line six and you noted signs of squinting and leaning forward, which are troublesome signs. So we're gonna go back to line five and give credit for the line five visual acuity which is 20 out of 40, so at 20 feet, they can see what most people would be able to see at 40 feet. And there was one error made, so we're gonna put a minus one, okay? Now when assessing the left eye, you wanna employ a few different strategies to make sure they're just not repeating what they've just said to you. One of the strategies I will share is to start at a different line. So you don't have to start at number one, like you did the first time. You can start at line three, and then you can skip to line five, or you can have them read it backwards. That's the second tip, is to go to line four and read it backwards. And that helps you to ascertain that what they're reading is authentic for their vision. Then of course, once you've done the left eye, you wanna do both eyes together so you have the full picture and that would be your visual acuity assessment done using the Snellen chart. So the real question is, what does 2020 vision mean? In order to understand this, we need to know that the top number represents how far you're standing away from the chart and the bottom number is the distance in which a normal eye would be able to read that particular line. So for example, 20 over 200 means that you are standing at 20 feet away from the chart and you can see at 20 feet what others can see at 200 feet. That is not very good. Now on the other end of that spectrum, if you are standing at 20 feet and you have 20-10 vision, that means you have better eyesight because another person would have to stand at 10 feet to see what you can see at 20. So the Snellen chart is typically used for those who are school age and above, and they, you know, we have to make sure they can read and understand their letters. If you're dealing with somebody who is younger, they do have pictures on the backside, or there's another one that uses just the letter E, and it has the E in different orientations, and the child is then asked to identify which way the E is facing. So you may note that there are a few different ways in which your doctor is testing your eyes. That's it for me today. I hope you've had a great time. Make it a great day as always, and don't forget to head on over to our new store, our clothing store, where we are stronger together. We've also got the Make It A Great Day merchandise and become part of the Nurse Minder Nation. Take care, guys. Hey, I know you're probably not ready to get off your phone or go back to work just yet or maybe even turn the lights off to go to sleep. So why don't you spend a little bit more time here watching another video?